Hey guys, uh, just wanted to do a quick uh, video on the Samsung 49 inch ultra wide monitor, uh, specifically in regards to DCS. Um, and I guess for any flight sim for that matter, uh, initially before I purchased this monitor, I was looking on YouTube for some reviews and you know, there's quite a few videos out there on these specs and what have you on these widescreen monitors, but uh, nothing really specific to how it was tailored to flight sims and um, you know, and how it was going to work for me. I was just using a Samsung 55 inch monitor, which is very nice. Um, I liked it, but uh, it did have some shortcomings. It, it seems that with the 55 inch, it just makes everything bigger. But uh, you know, that's not always good. I still found that I, my situational awareness uh, in the cockpit and just seeing stuff in my peripheral vision it was a lot harder. Um, now I have to say I am using track IR, so I'm able to move my head and uh, look left and right in my peripheral vision. But uh, just at that, with the uh, 16 by 9, it just seemed like I just I was couldn't find the right depth of view. It was either too far in or too far out and just too much to look at this when I'm piloting to look to the left and right of me. So now I have, uh, this is 32 by 9. Uh, they say it is the equivalent of two 27 inch monitors stacked side by side um, with no bezel in the middle obviously. So this monitor is, uh, the particular one is the CRG9. I know there's a couple of manufacturers out there. Uh, this video is not intended to really delve into the specs of this monitor. I think that's kind of uh, irrelevant to a degree um, for this video. There's plenty of videos online that uh, will uh, go into, delve more into the specs of this monitor. Um, that's not really my forte. I will tell you just briefly that this is, <clears throat> it's a 120 hertz monitor. Um, I know there's a, a more expensive version of this monitor, which does 240, but you know, for DCS, I thought that was pretty much overkill since, you know, my system uh, would never see anything over 100 anyway. So, uh, the resolution is 5120 by 1440. Uh, like I said, that's basically two 27-inch monitors stacked side by side, and the aspect ratio is 32 by 9 as opposed to 16 by 9, which would be standard monitors. Um, I really like it, uh, and if you'll see here, I basically have my field of view. This may be a little close in. What I tend to like to do is keep it about here for flying, and um, you'll see that basically you can look around. And I'm lucky in the fact that I have uh, external MFDs. I have the MFDs from Total Controls with two small 800 by 600 LCD screens. So I don't need to do a whole lot of looking at the uh, MFDs uh, in the cockpit end game, so to speak. So I'm able to keep my head up looking left to right and just glance down with my eyes and do what I need to with the MFDs uh, that I have in front of me, not end game. So we've eliminated the need to constantly look down and grab a mouse and you know hit the buttons here on the MFD and what have you. Um, so that respect, I also, I do find just from flying, and flying's fine, but uh, in terms of being offensive and shooting the guns, I, I tend to like to slide the view back a bit. Now that's fine, and you'll see your situational awareness is so much greater on a ultra-wide monitor. Uh, I found that this has really helped me the most in hovering. Uh, they say when you're hovering, you should look out in the horizon and pick a fixed object and focus on that rather, you know, than five or ten feet in front of me. Uh, when I'm able to back out here and really kind of just scan the horizon, I find it a lot easier uh, when you're trying to hover. So that's a huge bonus. Um, the one thing I, that I, I'm not real happy about is the, um, you know, of course you get the ultra wide, but it seems to, to get that you lose a little bit of the vertical. So, you know, when I go to my default settings here, I'll back out just a hair. If I'm in a bank, you know, you know, you really have to turn your head up to kind of look through the top of the cockpit. The top of this rail kind of gets in the way when you're banking left or right. So, uh, you know, if I'm doing some evasive flying, I'll just generally back out of the cockpit a little bit. And I also kind of come back here for takeoff and landing. You kind of, again, it gives you a much 
wider view of the uh, runway or your pad wherever you happen to be landing and lets you see if there's any obstructions or anything like that so um, in a nutshell I'm basically you know when I'm flying I'm constantly moving you know in and out of my field of view to get you know the right scenario so you know I don't do a whole lot of like super zoom in stuff like you see some guys do I don't know it's just to me that I don't want to say that it's cheating but it's just kind of immersion breaking you know I I don't like to go, go much further than that and again when I click the button and center that pretty much is my default start from point so um, let me see here uh, I think there's definitely some pros and cons to this like I touched on that before um, for me you know, one of the big pros again is the peripheral vision uh, I'm able to you know look straight ahead of me and I'm just kind of you know in my true peripheral vision uh, I'm able to see what's going on to the left or right so it, it makes it helpful when you're scanning for enemies on the ground and what have you um, also when you're hovering uh, you know you can look right if you happen to be hovering right sweeping right and left it really opens up you know rather than being you know so close into here in the cockpit and having just a small little minute area you know in your left and right to see what's you know so you're not going to crash into a building or what have you um, but you know there are some cons like we touched on earlier you know I, I really wish the screen could be a little bit taller but <laughs> without stacking two of these bad boys on top of each other, you know, that's really not going to be an, an option right now. Um, they're also, the, you know, this screen's huge, so it's, it's very taxing on my system. Uh, you know, I'm constantly, you know, I don't have a, you know, Primo system, but I'm running a uh, 3070 Ti, and uh, it'll it'll move it, you know, especially if the maps, you know, I not playing a heavily populated multiplayer map or if, you know there's not a lot of ground assets you know sometimes I will know some stutter so if I'm just kind of messing around by myself I'll put <coughs> excuse me put it down to medium um, makes it a little bit easier on my system um, so you know this card will run you know this monitor albeit you know you may have to tweak the settings to keep the frame rates pop you'll see right now I'm just sitting here in the runway and I'm getting 55 frames and you know the head tracking is pretty smooth you know I have seen it on others jump in the 20s and that, you know that just in a helicopter that just you know becomes unplayable in my opinion it's you know just when you can't keep up it's just not fun so um, there is I don't know if you can see a slight fish eye now again I'm not a technical guy I don't know a ton about it but I think you know when you get a screen this big and you're stretching it you will get some distortion uh, I do notice that sometimes when I'm, let me, sometimes if you zoom out a little bit, you're kind of flying. It looks a little fish-eyed at times. Uh, not so much. It doesn't personally bother me. Um, I guess it's a trade-off. I mean, maybe some people it would irritate and it would be a deal breaker for me. It's really not. I just know it's there. Um, so, uh, you know, this is a 120 hertz monitor. You know, is that slow? You know, for me, uh, no, it's fine. And, you know, DCS typically is a resource hog anyway. So, you know. At the 20 to 240 hertz was just uh you know not in the cards for me i don't i pretty much only play flight sims uh, i have tried this monitor briefly on a couple games i have on steam and stuff and it was pretty cool i guess some games are optimized for the ultra wide some aren't uh i could see how it definitely would give you an advantage in like a first person shooter type game but uh um, i found that when i was sitting you know at a comfortable distance from the screen it was almost too wide I think a 32 wide is, is probably the sweet spot, you know, for that type of game. But I have to say, for f flights, uh, it's really, you know, it's really been good so far. I've had it almost a month. Uh, I did get this on sale from Best Buy at the time. It, uh, I think it was 8.99 on sale, really like $1,100. Uh, so you know, it is expensive. It's not even on sale. It's it's uh, you know. It's pretty expensive compared to other options, you know, TVs and so forth. But uh, you know, it's what I wanted to get. You know, it's and it, it's working so far. Uh, I think the only other thing that I really haven't tried is uh, a projection, and you know, that you know, it's got its pros and cons too. I may get around to trying one one day and seeing it, and, you know. But uh, in the meantime, I think we're here for the 49. So. Uh, in closing, you know, like I said, this is, works well, uh, and mind you, I guess you could leave it, you know, it, 
the fixed uh, field of view, but I, I tend to like it, you know, zooming back, and you really can, you know, peek around the, and see. Um, great situational awareness, again, I can't tell you, and, uh, you know, I do have track IR, so I don't know, you know, that's how I play. I'm used to it. Uh, if you didn't have head tracking, I'm, um, you know, it's usable, but I guess you're already used to that, so... Anyway, let me just take a quick little cruise around here and show you guys uh, just some cruising around. Let me get take her up. Just get her in a hover here. Pick her up off the runway. Take a peek around. I find it really helpful in the turns. You can really just kind of peek your head, look over your shoulder in that nice wide view, just all your pedal turns. Let's just pick her up here, do a little drive by. Sun glare. I'll zoom back to the. F that's as far as DCS will let me go. It's not really. Uh, I don't typically go back this far in field of view, but just want to utilize it and show you guys uh, landing. landing just put her down here that's about it I hope uh, you guys got some information from that you know I was on the fence but uh, again it is an expensive monitor but uh, it really has helped my hovering out and uh, just general flying uh, in the helicopters I can't speak for fixed wing stuff but I would imagine it would be very similar uh, especially in dog fighting, you know, in the open cockpits looking back, it's, you know, it's so easy to just peek around and see what's going on. So that's about it. Have a good day.